All right, let me talk to you Hebrew Israelites for a moment. Now, whenever I post a video, I always hear something about the church. Y'all love speaking against the church. And um, and I just want to just flat out say <laughs> that the church is Christ's establishment. That's what the church is. It's not established by a man like the Hebrew Israelite movement is. Okay, because there's a lot of y'all who don't know that the Hebrew Israelite movement was established by a guy named Frank Cherry back in the 1860s or the 1890s or some, somewhere in the, in, the, in the late 1800s. But he was a guy who said that God came to him directly and told him that black people are the true Hebrew Israelites. And that's how you get this false movement. All right. So. That is how the Hebrew Israelite movement came up. It wasn't established by some man. Some man didn't just get some revelation and say that, oh, this is what God's supposed to, this is what God is trying to tell me. Now, when you read the Bible, you know that there is no external revelation. God does not come and give some other revelation outside of the Bible. That's how you know when something is a cult and it's a false movement. Now, that's what the black Hebrew Israelite movement is, or the Hebrew Israelite movement is. It was established by a man. Now, it's just so funny and ironic that guys like uh, Joseph Smith of the Mormons, he had a vision and a revelation around the same time. Charles Taze Russell, the Jehovah's Witness, had a revelation at the same time. Uh, Ellen G. White and her husband had a revelation from God around the same time. So if you see that there is a pattern, especially when it comes to these cults and these false movements. So therefore, that's how we know that the Hebrew Israelite movement is not established by God. Christ himself established the church. And he said, upon Peter, upon his rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Christ said that God almighty said that he didn't say upon this rock, uh, you know, the gates of hell will not prevail against my Hebrews or my Israelites. None of that was even mentioned. He said the church, the church. Now, whenever you speak against the church, you're speaking directly against Christ and you are part of the gates of hell that are, that is trying to prevail, but will not prevail against Christ's church. So therefore, when I hear y'all talking reckless about the church and y'all want to talk greasy and talk about, I'm glad I left the church and this and that. Basically what you're saying is that you turned your back on Christ because Christ established the church. It wasn't, he didn't establish the Hebrew Israelite movement. Frank Cherry did that. So you turn your back on Christ and you follow the teachings of some man and you follow man. It's the same thing that happened in the garden, in the garden of Eden, beginning of time. You know, you got God tell Adam and Eve one thing. Hey, don't eat from that tree. And then the serpent comes along with the devil and says, hey, how come you won't eat from that tree? Well, God told us not to do it. Well, did God really say that? Did, did God really say that? God, what, what God meant was that don't eat from it. So therefore you don't gain the knowledge. And you, if you eat from the tree, you'll become just like him knowing all good and evil. And then what the man doing the selfishness ate from the tree because he wanted to be like God. And that's the same thing that you Hebrew Israelites are doing. You want to be in the place of God. You want to be able to control your own life and your own destiny. And you be, want to be able to push God to the side and conjure up your own doctrine and make people believe in it. So this is what Hebrew Israelites do. They love to take from our scriptures that's been given to us by Christ and try to use it to speak against Christ. And I know a lot of you say, no, 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 we, we believe in Christ. No, no, you don't. You don't believe in Christ. Not speaking against this church because there's no way you read the Bible, especially the Old Testament, even the writings and the teachings of Christ. And you hear and you just continue to just fall away from that and then follow the teachings of Frank Cherry and some man-made movement, you know? And another thing you guys got to look out for when it comes to these black Hebrew Israelites is that they love to do a bait and switch. So they'll say, 
oh, well, you know, we left all of the junk and the trash and the mess that's going on in the church. That's why we left. Duh, we, I mean, we, we know what's going on in the church and the body of Christ. We know that people who go out and do all of these crazy things like Joel Steen and T.D. Jakes and, and Benny Hinn and all of that. I got videos rebuking all of that stuff. So we're aware of what's going on when you got these people who call themselves a part of the church. These imposters, we know what they're doing. So that's why we rebuke it. And that's why we go back to the Bible. But that don't give you an excuse to turn your back on Christ because you see something that man is doing. So basically your whole theology is man-centered. You're not putting your faith and trust in Christ and his completed work. What you're saying is that, well, despite what the Lord says about the gates of hell not prevailing against this church, I'm going to ignore that. And then I'm going to go and follow after some man who said that God told him to do something 1800 years after his death. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't even make sense. And I just want to go ahead and put that out there. Um, you know, and, and if you guys think I'm lying, go and look up Frank Cherry for yourself. Frank Cherry started the Hebrew Israelite movement because before the 1800s, no one have ever heard of no Hebrew Israelite. No one even said anything about somebody being black is, is a, is a Hebrew. That's that, this is new stuff. This is stuff that just came up within the, within the past 200 years. So you guys are in total error. So once again, when you guys speak against the church, you are a part of the gates of hell that attack the church that Christ said that will not prevail. So what Christ is saying is that even you Hebrew Israelites will not prevail against uh, the church. You who are a part of the gates of hell will not prevail against this church. And I just want to go ahead and put that out there. Um, you know, you guys, if you like what you've seen, like what you heard, like, rate, share, comment, subscribe. And uh, you guys have a blessed day.